So welcome back, boys, to the final sign-upable Forza Horizon 3 competitive racing thing. The winner of today's race is going to advance to the infamous race number 7 happening on July 14th, that is on Saturday. First place is going to that race number 7, like I just said, but the top three racers from this are winning. The awesome AR-12 socks, gonna keep your feet nice and toasty. You know it. If you haven't already, though, make sure you go and check out Elgato Gaming stuff. They make what we do possible to make all these videos uh, for you. If you want to start a YouTube channel or a Twitch channel, you know what to do. ElgatoGaming.com. I'm just saying. Anyways, for race number six, I wanted to do something that we actually haven't done yet, surprisingly. I wanted to do what is the world's fastest muscle car. The way we're going to be stipulating or the way we're going to be classifying cars is open up the filter here. And then if one of these things says muscle, so we got classic muscle, we've got retro muscle and modern muscle. Those three categories, you can take any car you like, upgrade it to S1815. So the very bottom of S1 class, and that'll be it. This has actually always been one of my very favorite cars. It's like, it's very cool. I don't know what I should take. I feel like going with something old and then upgrading it to make it fast is gonna be the way to go. Maybe swapping a V12 and something, swapping all-wheel drive onto something is gonna be the way to go. But I'm not sure what I should really take. Ooh. Oh! A lot of you guys are saying Camaro SS. That's a Camaro SS. I definitely don't want that one. I would take, where to go? That Camaro, because it's very slow. I could definitely get away with swapping a huge engine into the thing and all-wheel drive, although that didn't go super well for me last time. Ah! Nick, it's fast AF. All right, all right. I trust you, Twitch chat. I'm just like to say, if I lose this one, I know who to blame. So we can go all the way to S1 class, which means I will have a lot of room for upgrades. So we've got a 6.2 liter V8 we can swap in. A V10? That- wait, whoa! That's the Dodge Viper V10, an 8.4 liter V10. That's straight up a Dodge Viper. Oh, we got the V12. Oh my god, and it stays C-class by putting a V12. Ah, uh, that's a good idea. And all-wheel drive, and we're still C-class. Alright, we're over a thousand horsepower now. And B-class. Now, I want to avoid what happened last time, so tires! Do I want to slam it down? We are going to be racing on a circuit today, by the way. Toss a gearbox on there, fantastic. Toss a clutch, thank you as well. Drive line, I will grab that. Oh, maybe I want to put a rear wing and a front splitter, because that'll boost my braking as well. If we are racing on a circuit, how much horsepower do we have? We have 1,061 horsepower. We weigh 3,600 pounds. We have upgraded tires. We've got race arrow. Nathan says 6.7 on the handling. Nick, did you learn nothing from the last race? 0 to 60 in 2.7 seconds. Hell yes. There's a lot of people out here. Has anybody opted for something modern? No. <laughs> Everyone's taking the classic stuff. We got a Mustang. We got another. How many Mustangs do we have? You know what? I can just pause and look. What? Why am I? Why am I? Why am I? Looking at carbon, I can just look at this. We have one Mustang, two Mustang, three Mustang, four Mustangs. Camaros, we have one, two, three. We've got a Cuda, we've got a Javelin, uh, we've got an old Corvette. Hey, buddy, fix your class, buddy. Yep, you gotta fix your class, buddy. You're one PI too high. No cheating's gonna be going on on our watch. I want to go to one of my other favorite racetracks in the game, which is this one all the way over here. The Archway Meadows Circuit. It's a very, very good circuit. It's got a little lake in the middle and stuff. It's around the farms. Anyways, I wanted to go to this track and not exactly do a race today. It's going to be the same thing as normal with our class. Our class is going to be exactly the same. This time, we're going to chuck on seven laps, which is going to make it a little bit longer. The person who comes first in this race may not necessarily be the winner. You may have seen some of the challenges I've been doing with Raymond. And one of our new favorite things to do is the time attack challenges. So that's what we're going to do today. The person who gets the fastest lap time. It's not about consistency. 
It's just about banging in one hell of a fast one. I chucked it on seven laps just because the person who's in first might try to put in as many laps as possible and end the race prematurely. So that's why we went up to seven. Good luck, everyone. All right, so I like the strategy, boys. Look at this, it's already a little bit different. First lap's gonna be a little bit of a warm up one. That guy's waiting his time, he wants to go in last. I'm currently all the way down in eight. The thing with this as well is, we won't know who wins until the very end, which is gonna keep us on our toes and make sure everyone keeps pushing. I think it's cool, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun this race. Race, time attack. That's what I should be calling it. My car is getting a lot of understeer though. Doesn't want to turn that sharply if I'm honest. All right, so let's go boys, flying laps. Good luck everyone. Oh, you see what people are doing? People are backing up on the line to try to get the biggest run up. Oh, and I've, ar I've already ruined my first lap. All right, well, let's go. Let's try to beat this guy's time. If I can beat this guy around the track, then I've beaten his lap time, right? So it's a pretty good way of looking at it. Best lap time right now is a 51 seconds. Time attacking Lamborghinis. Yeah, it's, it's really not muscle cars anymore when I think everybody in this lobby is running V12s. It's just, if you wanna be competitive, that's what you need to do, sadly. Like, as much as I would love to run a big V8, or even the Dodge Viper V10, it's just never gonna be as competitive. All right, so I want a really good exit of this corner. So we're gonna go for like a late apex. Didn't hit an apex whatsoever, but we should be able to carry a little bit more speed across the line. Best lap time, still a 51 seconds. Oh, I really gotta get better at that first corner. Not super happy with it. I'm getting overtaken a lot here, which means people are, are putting in faster lap times than me. If I could be in the top three though, that'd be so dope. Oh, I'd be so happy with that. We still have a couple of laps though. Like I said, it's not about consistency. If you nail one lap, you're good. Like, I'm catching up to all of these guys in front of me right now. The, the thing doesn't turn as much as I would like it to. Oh, yeah, look at this lap. Sort of a bad last corner. Could have definitely been improved. Best lap time. Still a 51. What? Why does it still say it's a 51 seconds? You mean your Lamborghini? Yep, I meant my Lamborghini, sorry. I'm gonna be- I'm gonna rename this car the Lamborghini Camaro. Lamborghini SS is actually what I'll call it. Cause I got another 51? Are you serious? I've put in 51 second laps every single time so far? Alright, come on, we gotta go. We gotta really push. Oh my god, that's even slower, that's a 52. I think I can drive faster if I drive, like, clean. I'm gonna try going off circuit a little bit more. Trying to corner cut if possible. Just try to make the race course as short as possible, you know? Oh, I need to put a good lap in. This is lap five. Getting on the brakes early. I like it, I like it. Trying to stay on the circuit around there. Keep it turned in. Runs a little wide again. Around the final corner. Come on, please put a good lap time in. Oh, this might be sub 50. 50 dead? Are you serious? Okay, turn it in early here. Shave off as much time as possible. This is gonna be my last flying lap, I believe. Urgh, I run too wide, get too much wheel spin, that's gonna kill my time. Oh, the guy in front of us is having even worse of a time running into the wall. Hey, I like his thing on the back of his car. It says air12gaming.com, shout out. Thanks, man. That's gonna be my last final lap. I think our best time's gonna be a 50.8. No, we might actually be able to get this last final lap in. I'm gonna have to really push if I wanna do something. I'm gonna try something here. This is gonna be my experimental lap. Experimental lap, come on! I don't know if it's gonna work, but I'm gonna try. Get on the brakes early around here. Keep the turning locked in. Do not lift. Do not stop, I lifted. Do not stop turning perfect through there. We're good. We're gonna be able to get it. Get across the line. Beat a 50 se- Oh, I didn't even beat a 50 seconds. My, my, my little shortcut, my experimental lap did not work. Oh my god, there's a, there's a couple people in the 47 seconds. The winner is gonna be Liam T. Oh my god. Liam. The fastest lap time is going to Mr. Liam T. 
with a 47.4 and a 1959, 1959, 1995 uh, Ford Mustang. Second place is going to be Kimmy Boss with a 47.8. Third place is going to be going to Awesome Driver from the Ray Vision crew. Actually, Ford Mustangs took first, second, and third in that race. Where's, uh, where's Mr. Liam T? 1995 is the same year as me. Ford Mustang, he's running that front arrow, rear arrow as well. GG, sir. This is Kimmy Boss, who finished up second.